It all started one night when Andrea and myself were relaxing after a long day of work. She was flipping through a magazine and saw a couple that had a vineyard and winery. We wanted to start out small, just having a vineyard and winery. Thought maybe this would be our retirement someday, you know, and keep it nice and small. But as, uh, as it evolved, it became much, much bigger than what we anticipated. And we turned it into a winery, an event venue, restaurant. I received a publication that, you know, randomly talked about a husband and wife owning a vineyard and winery together. And I just casually mentioned to him, uh, wouldn't that be a really fun business to get into? He took it very seriously and had a vineyard consultant here in, I don't know, a month maybe. <laughs> and, uh, they were testing the land and checking to see if it would be great for vines, and it turned out that it was. So the hardest part of opening up the winery was it started with the construction. To, to build this project took a lot of hours, and then also then, at the same time, it was long hours to put together the whole operating the facility then. At the same time, we had a two-year-old and also we were also building homes, selling real estate at the same time too. So it took uh, a lot of hours and nights and days to, to get this to where we're at today. Marco would be up all hours of the night doing research and finding ways to make this work. So we had a lot going on um, and it was, it was difficult, but in the end it was really all worth it and it's, it's just such an amazing place to be. So we want our guests to, when they arrive to our property, to feel like they uh, have been brought to a different country, back into Italy, the Tuscan region. From the outside of the building being all stone, we wanted that Tuscan appearance. And when they walk into our piazza, which is our front entrance, they, they feel like they went back to Italy uh, and have that experience. So from the moment they drive up and you know see that big 30-foot tower, uh, I want them to feel like they're somewhere special. It's just so amazing to me that our vision is what we're hearing our guests say, is that they feel like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was back in Italy on a trip that I went to years ago. About 40 years ago, my father came here from Italy, and his first thing was he started a restaurant and also construction at the same time. But it was the restaurant that we grew up in. Since we were little kids, we always worked in the restaurant. That's actually how we met, was I was 14 years old and I was a hostess starting to work at my first job and it ended up being in his family's restaurant. And we knew each other for a few years uh, before we ended up dating and owning our own restaurant together. And I think it's an amazing thing that my in-laws worked as hard as they did to make sure that you know their children could have something like what he had dreamed about when he moved here. We evolved the restaurant into the winery and brought the two together, food and wine. You can't, can't beat that. <laughs> and we didn't have a whole lot of experience in owning a winery. Uh, we knew we liked to drink it. <laughs> we knew what good wine tasted like, but we I thought that was going to be the hardest part, but Marco had put an advertisement out for a winemaker and we found a pretty amazing one. He has years and years of experience and brings a ton of knowledge to us and he makes some really, really great wine. <laughs> so our wine uh, comes from a vision, you know, the, the wine that I like to drink is a dry, you know, I, I like a dry red wine. And I wanted to bring that to Pennsylvania, where a lot of the wines are sweet. So we, myself, with the winemaker, have developed a handful of our wine to be dry. Wines that you drink with food, so they, they pair really well with foods. And that's how our wine list has, has evolved. So our most popular selling wine is a blend. Uh, it's a red blend of Merlot, Cab Franc, and Cab Sauve, and we named it Lorenzo Forte. Lorenzo is our firstborn son, and Forte in Italian means strong. That's our, our most popular wine, which, you know, makes me really happy. 
our food here at Flino State is, is old recipes that we didn't stop tasting until that recipe tasted like my mom's food or my grandmother's food in Italy. So we, we kept on going until we got to that exact taste that we, that we wanted, the old world Italian cooking. We have worked on our recipes from day one um, until we got the perfect recipe, uh, starting with our pizza sauce. We didn't stop making batches until we got to that perfect Italian style pizza or tomato sauce the same way. We keep on going until we got to that taste that we remember in Italy, that, that recipe that my grandmother made or my mom makes. We also really wanted to kind of create this menu that was for wine lovers. So a lot of our dishes are infused with wine. Um, we have like a wine, red wine grilled cheese that's uh, one of our most popular dishes. <laughs> and then a lot of our pastas, all of our pastas are homemade. And then, you know, our sauces are obviously homemade as well and we'll infuse Felino State wines in a lot of them. You know, our, our kitchen works tirelessly day after day since Everything is made from scratch. We're really proud of, of the food that we're offering our guests. This is a family-owned business. We are here still night and day to operate it and run it. You can find us either, especially Marco's, out in the vineyard. He's in the winery with the winemaker. We're in the kitchen talking with our chefs. I'm in the tasting room merchandising. Our days are, you know, pretty crazy, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, we love being so active in Felino Estate. And, you know, our dream is to be able to hand it down to our children um, and they can continue to run Felino Estate, you know, in the same way that, that we envisioned. We pretty much pour our heart and souls into this place to make sure that they have an experience like no other.